Welcome to this edition of Aging Gamers Presents. Today we're going to talk about the DSO 138 Do-It-Yourself Kit. This is a kit that in the past weeks I've uh, gone ahead and upgraded, or uh, put together. It comes as a kit on eBay and it is produced by JYE Tech. It's a cool little uh, hobbyist uh, oscilloscope. Works really well. I finished putting it together in about three hours. Uh, there's a couple of videos on YouTube on how to put it together. We're not going to discuss that, but today we're going to discuss actually upgrading it to the next version of the firmware. So the firmware can be actually downloaded from their website. You go to the website, download the latest version, which was released on 3.9 of 2015, and has some actual new waveform parameters. The difficulty was in actually obtaining the information on how to do the upgrade. Uh, there is no English version of it, so one of the things that I did was obtain the Chinese, translated it, converted it over into a new document, and then sent it back over to them for them to uh, upgrade and hopefully provide a better version of what I've done to their customers. A um, couple of things that we're going to need. We're going to need a serial converter, so a USB UART or TTL converter. They do have one that is uh, on their website that you can obtain from them. It looks similar to this product here. We're going to need the control uh, bootloader software, which can be obtained from this URL at ST Micro. You're going to need the program or hex code for the actual uh, file itself. And the first thing that we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to connect the device to the USB device utilizing this method. On the back of this, and we're going to be a little careful because I've already got this jumpered, on the back of your device you're going to find jumper 1 and jumper 2. These jumpers need to be jumpered so that this will actually boot and go into the boot loader. Looks like my devices come, or my jumpers have come loose, so we're going to go ahead and jumper these real quick. What this is going to do, it's going to bypass the bootloader system that is built into the into the device so that it will just go ahead and boot directly off of the bootloader instead of the firmware that is embedded. And once you're jumpered, you're going to want to go ahead and connect it via the oh. USB connector to your computer. You're going to want to apply power. And when it boots, what you're going to notice is that there is just simply a white screen. There's going to be no da data actually on the screen. In your ST micro program, you're going to go ahead and select the settings that you see here. Mine is set to COM setting, COM7, so set it to whatever version or whatever COM setting you've got. 115-200, 8, even, disabled, with a time out of 5. You're going to click next, and you should see this option right here. You'll notice that what we've got connected on the motherboard in this screen is that from the DSO transmit 
to the TTL USB receive. From the DSO receive to the TTL USB transmit. From the ground to the ground. USB to the PC. You can see here is the connection. You're going to then connect the unit. Here is your application settings. Once you've done that, you're going to go ahead and click on the remove protection. It should indicate that the target is readable at that time. You can click next to proceed. And it should indicate a flash size. If the connection is setting the, the correct, you will see this setting in figure six. You notice that in mine, we do see that setting here. If you do not see this, then you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and press the reset button on your DSO and verify your connections. Also verify that your jumper one and two are shorted properly. If you cannot enter this, then continue to press reset on this. Verify those, so those settings. Looks like it's double clicked. So on the next page, we should go ahead and get the appropriate density chip, the pin, and all of that. We should see that they are all unprotected and ready to go. You're going to select Download to Device, choose your file, In this case, I'm going to choose the 40 version. We're going to set up the rest of the configuration according to the pictures. So we're going to optimize, verify after download, erase necessary pages. None of the other settings should be selected. And we're going to go ahead and click next. And we should see that we're getting our data downloaded to the chip. And it's going to go ahead and verify the download. and we have a successful flash operation. I'm gonna go ahead and click close. At this point in time, you can go ahead and power off your device, unplug it from your computer, and then unsolder the jumpers on the back. Once you've done this, you should go ahead and be able to power it on and it should boot up and indicate that the firmware is now a version 4.0. We can see that it is now booted up. We have our new readings. And we can see our waves. Thank you very much for this joining this version of Aging Gamers Presents.